We have been really trying for the past few days uh, to figure out who Kazuo Ueda is, whether it's through his out-of-print book, uh, trying to get our hands on that, or trying to get our hands on his latest uh, opinion piece. Uh, where are you getting hints on where he will stand on the policy spectrum? Okay, so uh, uh, these days I tend to have a lot of questions to whether uh, whether San so is so dovish or hawkish, and actually this is a very tough question indeed, as it crucially depends on the definition of a dog or a hog. And that said, I think his view on monetary policy largely balanced and pragmatic, rather than being significantly biased as either a dog or a hog. And his decision is basically driven by macro fundamentals rather than any preset philosophies. And this could be a major difference from current Governor Kuroda, whose view has been driven by his long-held philosophy, such that the Japanese economy needs a prolonged, ultra-easy policy in the first place. The fact that he's an academic and not a bureaucrat, a finance minister official, a career central banker, is that sort of what you need at this point to really take Japan out of this ultra easy, very unprecedented policy? Yeah, I think so. In terms of his career, so I mean, uh, he uh, he was a so I mean, he has been a, a very famous economic professor at the University of Tokyo, and he has experience at the Ministry of Finance and the BOJ board member. Uh, so that such a rich so experience, so I mean, uh, is a very beneficial for the BOJs, so policy course, I think, yeah, definitely. What do you see as the biggest challenge and the biggest risk as he takes on this role, presumably, when, when he gets there? Yeah, I think the biggest risk is that, uh, so maybe, uh, okay, so according to Witterson's article so published last year, so he appears to be concerned about the lack of flexibility in aid curve control. And he also wrote uh, that the BOJ should prepare an exit strategy from a current policy framework. So that with this, we envisage a possibility that Witterson may initially focus on a, a retreat from YCC, uh, paying due attention not to cause a large shock to the economy and reset to a more traditional framework, solely based, uh, based around controlling the short-term policy rate. But uh, I think so. fine tunings of uh, ICC should, should be very challenging. So I mean, right? And uh, but uh, scrapping the YCC should be very risky. So in terms of economic impact on the uh, on Japan's economy, so that uh, so how so I mean so compromise so these two so I mean uh, factors so should be a, a biggest uh, I mean challenge for uh, Professor Ueda I think going forward.